La Jolla is a popular destination for visitors from all over the world. Today we take a stroll along Coast Walk Trail to La Jolla Cove to see the sea lions. A few of us also rent a couple kayaks and take on the stormy spring waves as we catch a glimpse of leopard sharks beneath us. We may also find the infamous California State Marine redfish, the Garibaldi. We were hoping to get in the water for some snorkeling at La Jolla Cove, but the waves were too fierce even for the divers as one was rescued and brought to shore. Will we get a chance to enter La Jolla Sea Cave with our kayaks? Stick around and find out because we're Owens up to something good. Welcome to La Jolla. Upon arrival to La Jolla, we pass along an aggressive ocean current as the waves slam against the cliff face below. There's some kayakers right there. We're here today at La Jolla, specifically the cove. And we're gonna see if we can do some kayaking and some snorkeling. Nested on the upper cliff face, the landscape is teeming with Brant's cormont birds. Seemingly dedicated to protecting their eggs from predators, they sit and brave the sea winds and occasional brown pelicans and peregrine falcons from above. Looking down over the cliff edge, we can see the sea cave opening from the other side and the frequent kayakers hoping to get a close glimpse of sea life along the shoreline. Just off La Jolla Point, dozens of sea lions bask in the morning sun and get showered by the occasional sea spray from incoming waves. Once their hunger beckons again, a quick savory bite is waiting just offshore as thousands of fish collect off the point. This is a sea lion's paradise. As we make our way toward the cove in hopes of doing some snorkeling, it becomes quite apparent the waves are just too strong for a calm swim, even for the scuba folks. The current has injured someone's leg and required assistance to shore. of sea lions on the sandy beach make themselves comfortable as onlookers can't get enough of their presence. 
One gentleman in particular got a little too close as the large animal bellowed out a loud bark, sending the visitor screaming like a small child and providing plenty of entertainment for the visitors. After a short while, the kids want to go back and hit the beach off La Jolla's shores. This is where we get a chance to rent a couple kayaks and head out into the open ocean. kayaking adventure in a cave. Might not make it out. That's why we need helmets. Everything here is protected and must stay here. Our MPA is you probably guessed the name. It's called the Sandy Flats. It's named well. The Sandy and it is flat. It's kind of like the desert of the ocean. There's waves coming in, crashing all day long. It's not much seaweed or algae to grow. But just like the desert doesn't mean things don't live here. Home to our fan favorite, the leopard sharks, stingrays, bat rays, the smaller person in the front of the tandem and the larger person in the back. If you're around the same size and Scrubber is more confident, comfortable with paddling, it should be in the back of the Probably will see a sea lion. I just want to jump in. I got splashed pretty good once. Yes, I want to jump in. Dad, look, this looks like a purple snorkeling. Dad, they're probably like. Okay. Really? It wasn't even that crazy. You guys have a lot of experience with this. No, not with going on the waves. Okay. Oh, waves, yeah. As well. <laughs> the boat guide mentioned she sees schools of dolphins who like to swim back and forth between the pier and La Jolla Point on a frequent basis. But on this run, the dolphins are nowhere to be seen. Looking below the ocean surface and capturing a glimpse of so many leopard sharks was a thrill of a lifetime. In these waters, mother sharks are caring for their young, as it was difficult to see from the boat. 
This is a remarkable place for marine life from the sea lions to the dolphins, the many schools of fish, and the occasional well passing by between seasons. Paddling along La Jolla's cliff face and seeing the vast bird life taking advantage of the ledges and nooks had a peaceful, welcoming feeling despite the aggressive waves attempting to dash us against those rocks. Not far from here, a major fault line splits the land and runs out to sea creating a deep ocean bottom. This is the edge of the unknown between present light and darkness. We are simply admirers of the beauty and the power of nature. Upon reaching the sea cave, we observe the strength of the waves crashing in and determine it's too dangerous to enter. While riding along the cliff face and feeling the waves rise under our boats, one of the kayakers experienced too much seasickness and asked to return back to shore. No time for the large breaking wave at the mouth of the cave. You get surfed backwards, you capsize all the rocks that very sharp barnacle ball is. We're gonna go around the corner and check out a bunch of California sea lines. Guys, we're gonna wait for the other boat to catch up. Oh, we have to 
do it in an orderly fashion so you don't get hit by a wave. So I want everyone to follow me. Right on the hover button. We go single file and do kind of like a kayak. Kayak by those called out telephone sea lines. Now you know why they're called sea lines. But the seal always lying down. This is a very healthy cove. Tons and tons of food. A sea lion has to eat 15% of its body weight in fish on a daily basis. So you can see the sea lions, the harbor seals, all the marine life here does not stray far from the food source. Fun? Yeah. Tired? You need some food? Dad, I want to go boogie boarding. I just want to be in the water. I want to go surfing or Okay, let's get some food and then we'll go snorkeling. Snorkeling actually? Yeah. Let's go, Robert. Let's go. You want to come on the other side of us? Dr. Seuss bought a house right on the top of this local mountain. 
His real name was Ted Geisel, and he was the Grinch who stole Christmas. Down behind, the Hoya Village represented Whoville. Uh, if you ever see a Whoville character, they have a very sea-line like road. Also, the pine trees, the flora and fauna, the whiskers on the sea lines, beautiful Garibaldi fish. You see where I got a lot of his heart punches in the And we're going to be slicing the wind all the way back. Slicing the wind? Got a seasick. She was throwing up. So you guys, we have to land one kayak at a time. Since I only have like three people on the beach, uh, we have to land slowly. So we're gonna go to Cyril's famous Mother Duckling. We're gonna have like 60 feet between each kayak. So when we approach the beach, we won't overwhelm my co-workers. We're gonna stabilize your boat. You guys step out and bring your paddles with you when you step out. Barely made it through that. How am I supposed to control that? Huh? I almost capsized, tried to get my boat to turn around. Barely made it out of there alive. <laughs> 